<laughs> Anything that comes in when this door opens up is food for Pinky. Uh, here she is, guys. You were wondering how she was doing after uh, her introduction to Slinky, and uh, she's doing fine. I pulled her out after a couple of days. Um, I didn't notice any kind of breeding behavior, but I did notice her being scared. Now, here's what's cool. Uh, I actually just had a really cool conversation with Kevin McCurley from Nerd. Uh, he actually commented on the video of Slinky and Pinky, and uh, he taught me a few things. So I'm gonna spend some time with Pinky right now, and I'm gonna look around for evidence, which I think I already see of her kind of looking for places to lay her eggs. And uh, I learned a few things that I wanna pass along to you and I really appreciate Kevin uh, helping me out. It's always really, really cool when we connect with other reptile experts that may have more knowledge in a certain species than you do. And that's what's so fun for me. I love learning and I love to be a beginner, if that makes any sense. So many people are worried about looking good and knowing everything, and that's not the way we learn, guys. Uh, we need to be a little bit more humble and a little bit more open to getting information from people. So here's what's been going on. Here she is, here's Pinky, and this is good that I just hang out with her because as you saw in the beginning of the video, as soon as I opened this, she just went right for the camera. So she's conditioned, or I've conditioned her, that every time a door opens, she's gonna get fed. So what I'm doing is I'm letting her see that there's no food here and that I'm gonna kinda enter the cage with her and just hang out. It's very important to get acclimated with her. I spend so much time with Slinky, but I'm not spending the same amount of time Oop, as you can see with Pinky, you see that little whip? So she's, oh yeah, you hear this guys? So she's not happy. I always tend to do this stuff when I'm wearing sandals. <laughs> so here I am and I'm in here now. What was taught to me by Kevin is spending time with her is gonna be very, don't bite my toes. I have to use the camera to kind of push her away from my toes. I don't want to get a bite on the toes. I need her to understand the difference between my toes and her food. So let me just touch her here. Yep. Where are you going? Pinky poo, get over there. There. I just wanted to push her over there. I don't want her coming out the uh, door. Okay, so Kevin was telling me spending time is going to be key, and that's what we're doing right now. He said um, the best thing for me to do, because the females are actually more aggro than the males, and it doesn't even matter uh, that she's much smaller. Uh, it, it really comes down to the fact you want her to be confident. And for us to keep her confident, the best place for me to do the introduction is in her enclosure. Kevin said, and this is so funny, this is like the Kevin said video. So basically, I just want to reiterate that I've just got some new information. I'm trying to share it with you guys. Um, it was a great conversation. I want to get up and see his collection up there at Nerd. I've known Kevin. Uh, we've met before, probably around 2012. And uh, the guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to these animals. He's been dealing with reptiles uh, most of his life. And, uh, well, he is specializes in Varanus. Uh, so he told me to look around for haphazardly dug holes. And I had noticed them already. Look, check this out. There's a hole here. We've got a little hole here, okay? We've got this cork bark, and look at this. She's been digging holes underneath it as well. And she's also stalking my toes. You better be good. You better be good to me. And this, guys, is how I was able to tame Slinky. Getting into his enclosure, always hanging out with him, always making sure that he came to know me as a part of his life, as a positive part of his life. And I want to build, I can feel her tongue on me, I want to build this kind of relationship. So I'm trusting her. I'm trusting her right now. I guess we're going to have to trust each other. So I'm in here with sandals, but she is just kind of, just kind of, look at this, guys, look at this. This is the kind of thing that I did with Slinky. And you're watching it happen live with Pinky. I want to get her to that, to the same level of comfort and the same level of trust that I have with Mr. Slinky.
But check it out, guys. See all these little holes? Much like tortoises will do test nests, she's kind of probing and checking out her enclosure to make sure that there's a place that she can, in fact, lay eggs if she does, in fact, have them. And usually, oh, look at this, look at this, guys. Look at this. Usually what happens uh, is the follicles start to develop and they start to get a little bit more interested in seeing if there's a place to deposit them, if they're going to uh, bring these eggs out. Um, sometimes they reabsorb eggs. That happens. So she's just kind of, look at this. This is just incredible monitor behavior. You can really see. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Where are you? Up. Oh. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure that I keep my uh, fat belly out of her mouth. But look at this kind of... Um, this is just so amazing. This is amazing. Look at this behavior, guys. This is actually new behavior that we're sharing. She's never climbed on me before. And I love this. I want you to... You and I are going to be pals. I really want to just boost her comfort level with me and her enclosure. Look at that, guys. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to boost her comfort so that she feels that she is in control in this area. And by allowing her that control, when we introduce Slinky into this, she is not going to be as terrified as she was when she was, of course, in a very foreign environment. At the end of the day, it's the females that allow the breeding to take place. Um, they have to be receptive. So we need to put her in the most comfortable position. Um, and I was also told that it's gonna be pretty cool to be in here for it because I'm actually gonna be something of a referee. I'm gonna make sure that things don't get too crazy. Now, the good thing is for me, guys, and, and the thing that we need to understand is when I say things get crazy, I don't mean things get crazy with Slinky hurting Pinky. It's the other way around. Pinky is a big sweetheart. And if she senses weakness in him, if he does something wrong because he hasn't been a proven breeder, what'll happen is she is just going to see uh, that weakness and she's gonna wanna dominate him. And they can inflict some very, very serious injuries. Uh, Kevin was telling me he had a female rip the throat out of a larger male. That's incredible. Um, you think it defies logic that a larger animal can get beat up, but that's just not the case with monitors. Uh, these gals got to be tough, so it's going to be pretty important. It is going to be pretty important for us to keep an eye on her. Good stuff, man. And again, I just love the time I get to spend with her. I mean, this is all information you guys can use. And again, there's that body language. I creeped up behind her. You see, there's the curled tail, just like Lagatha will do. She'll give me a half-hearted slap, so I won't go any closer. Um, but basically, you know, what's happening here is we're just kind of getting her comfortable with me and then we'll do an introduction with slinky maybe in a few days look at that i love how she gets in the water she's gonna have to get a bigger enclosure here soon too guys i want to make sure she's got just a a proper enclosure that she can feel like she's the queen of but it will still be interesting this is going to be fun stuff guys it's going to be cool to see what happens when I pull Slinky in here later on? And again, there are my toes. I'm really going to trust her. I'm really going to trust her. I'm nervous. I ain't lying. But so far, so good. Now, that's interesting. That's interesting. I'm here. I'm ready. But she's just kind of nudging them. Now, years ago, guys, I was at Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land in Allenwood, Pennsylvania. And we were doing something for Fox Sports Television. And we were actually... Um, I had a large, well, about a four and a half, five foot water monitor uh, that I was holding and that was up against, that was up against, ooh, that's trust. That's how you build trust, right guys? Whew, look at this, that's my pinky. That's my pinky, pinky. Don't eat my pinky, pinky. <laughs> but um, 
I was up there, I was holding his four and a half, five foot long water monitor, and actually a pro skater, he wasn't a pro at that time, his name is Zion Wright, Zion was saying, hey man, that lizard's gonna bite you, and I was like, no, nah, it's good, and it was doing this kind of nuzzling um, on my neck, and sure enough, that lizard took a test bite of my neck and drew blood. Now, I didn't freak out, I grabbed its head so it wouldn't shake, but I did have a pretty good scar. It was actually, it's somewhere around here. I don't know if you guys can still see it. I can't feel it. But what was funny is months after the bite, I uh, had a raised scar in this area. And so I was playing with it one day and a bunch of pus popped out of it. And then I squeezed and a tooth fell out. It was really crazy. So I actually had a tooth. Look at her go. Look at her go. She really smelling me, huh guys? But again, this is just a curious behavior. This is not, this is not, you know, aggressive behavior. This is just like, hey man, you're in my house. You never come in. You usually just give me food and bail. So it's about spending time with her. I need her to trust me as much as Slinky does. Because if she trusts me, when I introduce Slinky, she's going to feel more secure. Now, I know that sounds weird. Why would a human being uh, be necessary for two animals that would do this in the wild? Um, maybe there are other reptiles around maybe there are other monitors around because they do have large aggregations of these lizards uh in certain areas so maybe they feel a lot better in their own home territory with a bunch more lizards around so they'd be more receptive to a large male i don't know that's just kind of a guess but uh either way gonna be really cool for me to be in this environment of course i'm gonna film it i'm gonna see how it goes in here uh, she is still digging, which is cool, as you guys can see back here. I know her tongue is the main focus of that shot. But again, guys, look, we've got some digging happening. We've got her tunnel she goes into right here. So she has a place she can escape to to feel really secure. I'm actually just happy that I can have my voice this loud, that I can be here in sandals, and she's not um, being aggressive towards me. So this is, to me, already uh just huge it's it's huge she's just figuring out that's part of my body pinky that's part of my body that oh my god what is she doing oh oh little hiss little hiss i'll tell you this this touch is good um another thing that is interesting to point out is that these lizards are very tactile and that's something i learned today in my conversation um you know i, I often wondered you know why is slinky always rubbing on me and now she's rubbing on me see i'm just trying to move slow and calm but i want to get my hands in a position look at this beautiful animal okay okay I don't know what's going to happen, guys. I'm just going to be nice and calm. Wow, she's pushing against my hat. This is crazy. And, you know, I'm trying to learn this animal. It's possible she might give me a bite. I don't know. But right now, I feel like this is curiosity because I don't spend a lot of time. She smells that. Now she's going down. Really cool stuff. Uh, I honestly had no idea what to expect, what to expect when I came in here. I mean, I've hung out in here a little bit, but I need to start doing it more on a, a more regular basis. That was cool. That was really cool. So it's really training for me as well. Um, I'm trying to get comfortable with her also. Um, some people uh, probably, I know I've seen some comments, oh, you're scared. You know, listen. I have a healthy respect for what even a lizard of this size can do. 
I don't want to lose an ear. I don't want to lose a nose. So I'm trying to be very calm. I'm trying to show you guys how I do it. Um, I am not perfect. And even though I like cowboy hats, I don't consider myself a cowboy where I just like to take risks for no reason. I like to minimize the risk because I don't want her to have a negative experience with me also. So if I seem cautious, it's because I have a brain in my head, guys. I'm trying to be cautious. Now, some regular humans that watch this will probably think I'm completely talking out of my ass uh, as far as being cautious because many people would probably not even want to get this close uh, to a lizard like this. But you reptile lovers know and animal lovers out there know that there's just more to these animals than we give them credit for. And um, God, I'm having just an awesome time. Um, I count myself as very fortunate that I'm able to walk right out of my back door. Uh, I can walk into these enclosures I've built for these animals and have these kind of experiences. And uh, what was really cool when I spoke with Kevin today was I mentioned, you know, so many, there are so many different reasons why people love these animals or why they get into the hobby. And, um, you know, there are guys that love the morphs. There are guys that love, you know, the different uh, albinos or maybe they love breeding only. Maybe that's what they're into. Um, for me, I really enjoy sharing space with the animals and creating, you know, enclosures that I can get into, that the animals can walk around in happily, that they can show a full range of their behaviors because I believe when an animal can show that full range of behavior, it really um, makes the animal more intelligent. Um, it, it just does something, it enriches their lives. Uh, that's why you, you guys, you know, you don't see that I, I mean, I don't have, like I'm not getting a new animal every week. I, I tend to like to get to know the animals I have and to really maximize the interactions with them and the knowledge of them. So it was just a great conversation all around. I wanted to share that today. It motivated me to get in here and kind of see what's going on with Pinky. Um, it's it's going to take more than just throwing two animals together, you know? So there is an update for you. I think she's done well. I think this was a really cool, uh, just a cool example of what Kevin was explaining to me. We've seen some of the evidence that she has been digging. We are showing that we have this kind of um, trust that we're building. I think this video is really cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys get something out of it. I hope some of you that maybe don't necessarily spend a lot of time with these animals, maybe come away seeing them for the intelligent and uh, just magical animals that they are and that you guys might look at them in a different way. Uh, so there you go. Thanks guys. I just want to say thanks again to everyone out there. The channel's been doing awesome. You guys are great. Thank you so much for sharing the videos and watching the videos and commenting. Um, it is just really humbling that so many people enjoy these. And uh, thank you so much. Go on and check out uh, Kevin McCurley's channel, Nerd, on in, on uh, good old YouTube if you guys want to learn more about monitors. I'm definitely going to be checking them out. And I'm going to be for sure getting with Kevin as soon as we're able to, uh, to really learn more about these monitors. And I did mention to him that I'd love to one day be able to get maybe a pair of black dragons. Uh, so that's something that he's uh, really excited about because he breeds them. And uh, he also likes turtles. So maybe there's some fun stuff we can do together. Um, and there you go. All right, guys, I just wanted to share an awesome day, an awesome conversation I had. And of course, oh, that feels good, Pinky. That's a, that's my, that's a bare leg you're climbing on. Howie. Love you. All right, guys, I'm gonna shut her down now. Thanks so much for spending your uh, afternoon with me. Talk to you soon. Bye.